I will tell you one thing, the screen on the Fade tab is absolutely beautiful. I mean, the colors really do pop. What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Fade Tab Duo. This is an ARM-powered hackable Linux tablet capable of running Fade OS, several different variants of Linux, and even Android 12. Now I've actually had a few weeks to spend with the Fade Tab Duo. This is a prototype that they sent over. It's actually pretty fleshed out for what it is. They've got their Indiegogo running right now. And this is coming to us from a company known as Fade, who specialize in making an operating system known as Fade OS, which is based on the Chromium project. But with all of their updates and all of their security patches, this thing is actually really quick. But we also have the option to install a full-blown Linux distro on here, and even Android 12. So like I mentioned, this is powered by an ARM CPU. It's actually using the RK3588S, and uh, we've got a lot of power here, given that we've got an ARM chip. On the channel, we've tested a few ARM-based Chromebooks in the past from bigger names, and yeah, they get really, really bogged down because the hardware they're using isn't all that powerful. But with this, they opted for a newer rock chip CPU that actually puts out some amazing performance. So what you're seeing on screen right now is Fade OS, which is based on the Chromium project. Uh, if you've used a Chromebook before, you'd be very familiar with this operating system here. But even though it's based on Chromium, we still have access to the Android subsystem, which will allow us to install Google Play and run our favorite Android apps and games. Plus, we've got the Linux subsystem, which in turn will allow us to open up Terminal and install our favorite Linux applications directly in Fade OS. But I can't stress this enough, it's not the only operating system that we can fully run on this system. So if you're not into Fade OS or Chromium in general, we can always install Android 12, and at the time of making this video, they also have a Debian build that'll allow us to run a full-blown Linux operating system directly on the Fade Tab Duo. And the hardware they're using here is actually top-notch. We've got a full aluminum body, a 2K IPS display. Over here, we've got our power button and our volume rocker. It's got dual stereo speakers built in, and over here on this side, we've got a 3.5mm audio jack and USB Type-C. This is actually a full-function USB Type-C port. It will do display out. We can also charge the internal battery or sync it up to another device, and it supports Thunderbolt 2 protocol, and seeing this on an ARM-based tablet is actually pretty awesome. We can also connect the included Folio keyboard with built-in trackpad right here. It also comes with a stylus and a cover for the whole unit. You can opt for black or red. We'll take a look at it in just a second. And when it comes to the specs, for the CPU, they opted to use the new Rockchip RK3588S. This is an 8-core ARM SoC. We've got four Cortex-A78 cores and four Cortex-A55 cores up to 2.4 GHz. The GPU is the Mali G610 MC4. We've got 8 GB of RAM, a 12.35-inch QHD IPS display with a resolution of 2560 by 1600 and up to 500 nits of brightness. We've got a 42 watt hour battery with 45 watt fast charging, it does come with the charger in the box, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 4.2, a front facing 5 megapixel camera, dual stereo speakers, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and the USB-C port here is full function, so we can do data in, data out, we can also do display port out, so if you wanted to connect a hub of some sort, let's say HDMI out, we can always do it with this unit here. Operating systems right now at the time of making this video, we've got Fade OS, Android, and Linux. There will be more Linux variants down the road. I'm actually really excited to see Arch running on this. So this also comes with a Folio keyboard with built-in trackpad and your back cover. Plus, we get a stylus. They have a black version and a red version. I'm actually a huge fan of the red version. I just think it looks really good. And everything fits together really nicely. So we've got those pogo pins on the folio keyboard itself. It's going to attach right here using some really strong magnets. We can attach the back, and this can be taken off at any time. Plus, we've got this fold-out stand, which makes it really easy to prop it up. And overall, I mean, you can definitely transform this into a little laptop. It works out really nicely. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Fade OS and Android 12. I do have a dedicated Linux video coming up because there's just so much that I want to test there. I think it deserves its own video, and it does function amazingly on the Fade Tab Duo with this RK3588. 
But first up, we've got Fade OS. This is the operating system that'll come pre-installed. This is kind of what they specialize in. Like I mentioned, it's based on the Chromium project. So if you've ever used Chrome, then you're not gonna have an issue using this whatsoever. We've got 10 points of touch here with this 2K IPS display. So if you wanted to use it in tablet mode, you could, or we could connect this keyboard and you could even go Bluetooth or some type of wireless mouse and keyboard combo if you wanted to. And with Fade OS, we do have the Linux subsystem, so we can open up Terminal right here. We can set up a dedicated partition for all of our Linux applications that we want to install. And we've got access to Google Play. So we can install Android applications and games directly in Fade OS. But a lot of people might just be using this, you know, as a little workhorse. Email checking, document editing, you can sync all of your stuff over all of your Google accounts if you wanted to. That way you could bring up Sheets and everything that Google does offer for free. And we've got Wi-Fi 6 here, so connecting online is actually really quick. We'll just head over to Fade OS's website real quick. I actually really love their website. It's laid out really nicely. And, you know, if you're interested in learning more about Fade OS, I'll leave a link in the description. You can actually download the operating system and install it on basically any x86-based PC. And if there's enough interest, I can do a full tutorial getting you set up with Android and Linux inside of Fade OS on an older, let's say, Dell Optiplex or something like that. But overall, I mean, it's definitely a very snappy experience. We'll head over here to YouTube. I'll show you a little bit of a 4K video playback. Now, we've got a 2K display, but we can take this up to 4K if we want to. And playback is really smooth here. I really do like this display, 2560 by 1600. It does have a little oversaturation, but I'm actually a huge fan of that. Just brings those colors out, keeps those blacks nice and dark. And as you can see, I mean, it does look really nice. So yeah, I mean, when it comes to video playback on this device, you're not going to have any issues. I've tested several different single board computers with the RK3588. And in fact, this chip will actually do 8K 60fps playback. But you know, we're already pushing it here at 4K, given we've only got a 2K display here. Next thing I wanted to show off was a little bit of Android gaming in Fade OS. I've got Call of Duty Mobile installed. You can use the built-in touch screen or you could connect a Bluetooth controller. And yeah, this is perfectly playable. I've got the graphic settings in the game set to medium and I've got the frame rate set to very high. So we should be at 60 and I mean, it's really smooth. And using the built-in Android subsystem with Fade OS, we've got access to thousands and thousands of applications and games that are gonna run fine on this tablet. But remember, we've also got a full-blown Android operating system that we can install on this. It's based on Android 12, and again, it's still a bit early, so we don't have Google Play, but I did want to show you that real quick. And here it is. This is an early version of their AOSP Android 12 operating system. Super clean. I mean, since we're using AOSP, no bloats installed whatsoever. We've just kind of got a file manager, a web view browser, and I've installed some other applications. Hopefully, by the time this is released, they do have official Google Play support, but, you know, we could always install it here. Personally, I didn't do that right now. What I did was just install a third-party app store to get a few emulators up and running. I use APK Pure. But uh, through here, we'll head over to YouTube. I'm using YouTube Vance. That way, we could go up to 4K. Show you some video playback here in Android 12. And again, we're just running from YouTube here, 4K, 60 FPS, HDR. This is a demo video I usually like to test, and it looks really good on this display. The next thing I wanted to do was take a look at a few benchmarks that I ran in Android. And first up, we've got Geekbench 5, single core, 440, multi, 1848. With the RK3588, I've never really been impressed with the Geekbench scores, but what is impressive, given the SoC we're using here, is the GPU performance. Here's 3D Mark Wildlife. We got a total score here of 4,218, and this is a Vulcan benchmark on the built-in GPU. When you compare this to other similar SoCs, I mean, we are way ahead of the competition. And it really does show in gaming and emulation. Of course, we had to test out some emulation on this device. We've got PSP using the standalone version of PPSSPP, 3x resolution, Chains of Olympus, Vulcan backend, running at a constant 60. As a lot of you might already know, this is a harder one to emulate, so if you wanted to go with some easier stuff like Tekken 6, we could go up to 5x and 7x resolution with some games. And another thing this tablet actually handles pretty well is PS2 emulation using EtherSX2. Now I've noticed that we do need a few more optimizations here with the GPU driver when you compare it to some of the other boards that I've tested with Android and the same chip. 
but it's still really early. I mean, this is the first release of Android, and it's only going to get better from here. So overall, I'm actually really impressed with the Fade Tab Duo. Now, of course, they're not going to be able to compete with the larger companies like Samsung and even Microsoft when it comes to performance out of one of these tablets. But I got to say, you know, we've tested a few ARM-based Chromebooks on the channel, and this thing is far ahead when it comes to performance. It's not going to compete with the higher-end x86 CPUs from Intel and AMD, but we're working on an ARM-based platform here. And one of my favorite things about this little tablet is the fact that we can actually install different operating systems, and we're gonna see a lot from the community in the future. So overall, we've got great performance, an amazing screen, awesome build quality, and I've been enjoying using this for the past couple weeks, but you still haven't seen Linux running on this, and I think that's gonna be one of the most impressive things. My full video will be coming up soon, so if there's any specific applications and games you wanna see running in Linux on the Fade Tab Duo, let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in learning more, maybe even back in the Indiegogo, I'll leave a few links in the description. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Like always, thanks for watching.